Hey guys, Hello Bella here, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing an AI art generator called Night Cafe. This is a free art generator, and it's something that I've been playing around with a little bit. I'm obviously not very good at it, but I feel like the more information that you give it and the more that you learn about this platform, the more potential it has to maybe be something that you could use to create your own uh, art prints. You could use these to sell print on demand, and you could also just kind of use these for personal use because Honestly, it's really fun to play around with. So let's take a look at some of the artwork that is on this platform. So flipping over from their main website, here is some of the artwork that has been popular lately. We've got some uh, dragons, some cats, uh, a bulldog in a bathtub that's really cute. We've got a crying emoji. We've got some old style portrait, the earth on fire. That's probably going to happen sooner than later. Um, some penguins at the pyramid. We've got some kind of bird wearing a crown. So let's just click on one of these and see what kind of information that we can get just from having a look at it. So if you click here, um, these are people that have chosen to post their artwork publicly. You can either post yours publicly or you can keep it to yourself. Um, the cool thing about this is all you have to do is click on settings here on the right hand side and that's going to tell you what prompt they used to create this artwork. So if you're like me and you're new to generating AI artwork, you can kind of get a feel for what you need to be typing in in order to create something that is somewhat coherent. And when you see my first couple of designs, you're going to be like, oh, that's what you mean by coherent because some of them are honestly just laughable. Um, but anyways, here is a text prompt. Gorgeously colored baby dinosaur in an elaborately royal golden teacup, head and shoulders portrait, 8K resolution. Concept art portrait by Greg Rutkowski. Arch Germ, WLOP, Alphonse. I'm not going to read all of this, but here's what I want you to get the concept of. They are basically talking to the AI generator. They're, they're not even, you know, writing sentences or anything. They're just giving it as much information as they can. And then it looks like they put in more information down here. Uh, this tool usually will generate a couple different images with the prompt that you gave it. So you can hear they changed the colors a little bit. And then we've got it uh, somehow coming out of a lady's head. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got a different teacup. And this teacup even managed to put the dragon on the teacup as well. So um, just having a look at that, you can kind of get an idea for some of the things that people are doing with this. Um, flipping over, we're going to look at some of my creations. Now, y'all, don't be laughing at me because I am a lady from Alabama who has only started playing with this like today. So these are my first AI artwork generations. Um, you can see on this one, I typed in, I was trying to get it to do Justin Timberlake, but I think I gave it too much information. I typed in happy rubber duck with Justin Timberlake singing realistic photography cute dogs are at the concert in the audience. So this is what it gave me instead of that. And these are some of the other images that were generated. As you can see, there's Justin Timberlake or what might be Justin Timberlake in the right hand side here. Um, and I don't know why that super long dog is in the water. Um, flipping over here, we've got a dog that looks to be holding or near a um, rubber duck. And then we've got this is a rubber duck wearing a top hat with a dog in the corner. And these are all four of the images. So um, it will allow you to create four images for one credit. And I'm going to talk about the credit structure in just a moment, because um, while this is free, they do have some paid options. I think that we're all kind of used to that as, um, you know, as we live in, in this digital age, most things have a free way to use it. But then if you want to really use it and you want to be able to use it unlimited, you do have to pay for it. So this is one of the um, images that I used Robert Pattinson for. I told it Robert Pattinson crying in a spaceship that has aliens around it, outer space, pop art, vibrant colors, Picasso, impressionist. So I gave it that information and then this is what it gave me. Um, obviously this one's just pretty, I mean, it's kind of interesting. You could honestly probably sell this if you wanted to. Um, obviously there's some legalities involved in selling someone's face and selling artwork. So um, you definitely want to check into that that. Um, but we will get into their terms of service as well, because I think that that's kind of important. But right now, we're really just trying to play around with this and see what it can do. I'm not so concerned with, um, you know, selling everything that I've created today. I'm more or less kind of seeing what is this tool capable of? And you know, what can we do with it? So clicking here, we've got um, another 
rendition of Robert Pattinson. This one, you can see the little tear coming down his face and he's got his like hands covered up. So that's kind of cool. And then this one is him, but his eyes are like completely whited out. So that's kind of creepy, um, but he is still in space, it looks like. And then the fourth one, we've got uh, his mouth is kind of open and he's got this kind of artsy look to it. So um, you could definitely put all four of these together and then potentially um, you know, do something with that. Um, but it's kind of interesting to see um, if you told it all of this stuff that it came up with those four different renditions of it. Let's take a look here at one more of my creations that I made today. So for this image, I told it smiling Frida Kahlo body hair, sunflowers in background with her cute pet cat, feminist pop art, dark eyebrows. So um, these are a little bit unhinged, honestly, but they're kind of cool. Um, you can see it put the cat on the side of her in this one, and it's got her unibrow, and it's got the sunflowers kind of coming out of her head. And then this next one, we've got uh, more sunflowers coming out of her head, but some on the side here. The cat's face is honestly... Um, a little scary, but I didn't say cute. I said cute cat. So the fact that it did it like that is a little bit unsettling. And then we've got this cat at the top that's like coming out of her head. So, um, yeah, obviously this kind of stuff is not really perfect. When I said body hair, um, it obviously, uh, just kind of went with it and put a mustache on her. But I mean, it's not the craziest thing in the world to think that somebody would want to buy this. Um, I think that as I continue, I'll see different uh, ways that this could potentially be used in some of my businesses. I'm not going to click on this next one because it is a little risque, but uh, one thing I was reading is that this AI art generator does do not safe for work stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in and you want to create artwork in that genre, um, do with that information what you will. I mean, that's, that's kind of cool that you're able to do that because I know a lot of them have limitations on on what you're able to do. So let's just move on here and talk about their uh, fee structure now that we've looked at a couple of my designs. So all the things you just saw, I was able to create for free. Um, they give you a couple different ways to earn credits. If I click here in the right hand corner, um, it will show my profile and it will show how many credits I have. And then you can potentially earn credits by doing things like voting in different competitions. Um, it says you earned three credits by completing your profile. Um, and if you come back to it, you can earn more credits. Basically, it, it's encouraging people to be active on the platform. So, I mean, they're going to send you emails and try to prompt you to get back on there. So I don't think that you would really need to pay for this service if you didn't want to. With that being said, they have a couple different fee structures and I won't spend too much time on this because, you know, it's pretty straightforward. But obviously, the more you buy, um, the more money you spend, the more credits you'll get. If you spend uh, 10 bucks, you'll get 200 credits. So it costs one credit to create four images, which is what you saw me doing. So um, with that 200 credit pack, you could potentially create, what's that, uh, two times four or We've got 800 potential images that you could generate, but you know, you have to think of those, which ones are going to be usable. But for $10, I mean, you could potentially create some prints that even if one of your prints is the only one that's really good and you sell it for um, $2.50 on Etsy for a digital download, um, once you sell that four times, you're going to make your money back and then you're going to own that content and you're also going to be able to sell it over and over again. So when thinking about tools like this, um, I won't get into all of the Etsy ethical dilemmas when it comes to using other people's artwork. Obviously, I think it's unethical if you are going to uh, steal someone's art style and then use it for your own benefit. But at this point, with the art world being so large, the internet being so large, it does feel like there's pretty much a gray area where everything is almost a copy of a copy at this point. But, um, you know, obviously, you know, you know what's best for you and your business. So I think just use your best judgment on that. So they do also have uh, credit packs. If you don't want to get a subscription, you can just buy a credit pack. Um, so the lowest that you could get um, is for $7.99. But hey, if you are like me and you're a small business owner, this is a tax deduction. So something to think about if you are interested in it. Um, let's hop over and look at this other tool that they have. They do have a pet portrait tool that you could potentially use. And I, I don't think I did it very well because it did not turn out well, but for the pet portrait, you upload a picture of your pet and then you select a style and then it will generate an image into that style. So let's just take a look here. This is one of our dogs. His name is Zeke and he was sitting in the chair 
being so cute. So let's take a look at what that generated. All right, so you can see the style that I used was the Bitcoin goddess. Um, and flipping over here, uh, you can see the image that it generated was obviously not very uh, usable, um, but that is an example of a fail, I guess, when using this. And I did have to use one credit for that, so I was a little bit you know, upset about that, but it is a learning curve. I think that this is something that I'll continue to play with and hopefully continue to get better at. But I do think that like using other people's taglines and stuff is really just honestly a cheat code to being able to learn how to use this because with the tool like this, you know, there's really unlimited capabilities once you learn how to use it. You just have to figure out how to start running those prompts. So obviously this does have some sales potential. Um, I'm going to take one of the images that I generated and we're going to pop it into just a editor that I can use sometimes to mess with images. So one of the things I thought was kind of funny about this, honestly, is that um, the little dog in the corner here on the right hand side, I don't know why it did that, but I wanted to show you a way that you could potentially uh, use this AI art generator to create things like t-shirts for print on demand or stickers or things like that. And obviously you have to get a little bit more creative in your prompts, but for the sake of just learning, let's click remove background here because what we normally use is a transparent image. Um, so here we have removed the background. Um, I can also go in and just like erase that little guy over there. So all I'm going to do to get rid of him is just hit the little eraser button. So now I've got him erased and I've got the dog and the rubber ducky. I can go in and add, you know, a black background to see what that would look like. I can move them around. I could put them on a background as well. Obviously, this is a really watered down version of what you could do with it, but it's just an example. And I thought, you know, I would talk about this. And I do want to give a shout out to another YouTube creator. His name is Ryan Hogue, Passive Income. He also uh, made a video about this AI art generator and that that's how I found out about it. But the cool thing is that I found out about it like yesterday or the day before yesterday, and I'm able to create things with it today. So it's not a huge learning curve. I'm not a super techie person, and I've been able to kind of play around with it and see, you know, some of the possibilities. So I think it's very exciting. And I think it's very cool that something like this is free because I'm sure in the past, you know, these kind of things were only accessible to people who had a lot of tech background and who really knew what they were doing with it. So I do want to address address um, obviously the terms of use. Um, this says, does the license allow me to sell my creations or use them for commercial purposes? So that's what people really want to know. Like, can I use this to make money? So the short answer is if you did not use any copyrighted images in the creation process and subject to the copyright laws in your jurisdiction. And you can pause this and read this whole thing if you want to take a look at it. Obviously, um, they have more about this on their frequently asked questions page. But I think overall you know it seems pretty safe to use it as long as you are obviously using things that aren't copyrighted but um, as far as you know the terms of service they may change it says that they're um, in this blurb here but overall I think it's a really cool tool I think that it has a lot of potential all right, guys, wrapping up, I just wanted to say that I am very excited about this tool. And I think this is something that I could potentially use to um, work in my business and to have fun with. I think it's really cool that we're at a point where um, normal people are able to play with these types of things and that they're not super expensive. I know that going forward, there's going to be a lot of changes when it comes to how art is created. And while it is kind of, I guess, frustrating for artists, um, it is something that I think is not going anywhere in the near future. So it's in our best interest to figure out how to use it ethically and how to um, potentially use it to um, you know grow our business and to benefit us so I think it's a very cool tool I think that you know if you get started with it and you play around you'll probably be somewhat addicted to using it because honestly it's just it's kind of fun to just play like art god like typing in all these things and kind of seeing like what can I come up with so I've really enjoyed it I think it's fun I think it's a great tool and I'll definitely be using it in the future so thank you guys so much for watching the video I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.